Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your whole story reading. We're going to go through the entire deck for you, but before we start, I want to see what your overall energy is and what we're working with here. So let's take a look, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. At the bottom we have communication. So this is very, very much a Sagittarius energy. We have free spirit, which is kind of the essence of a Sagittarius, I, I feel. Okay, so, um, yeah. So I'm getting here, uh, if you look at all this hair, um, I feel like some of you are gaining the courage to just be yourself and to speak your mind freely, not even um, with any kind of reservation. I, I, I feel like you guys are speaking your mind or or taking your, your intuitions as fact. Okay, so it's like you're really trusting your intuition and you're acting upon that. You're, you're letting your intuition guide you. But this is about having the courage so, yeah, and I'm getting um, with family, okay, so having the courage to show who you are with family or to, to be true. All right, whoa, sorry about that. Okay. So I did pre-shuffle off camera, but I'm going to shuffle a little bit just so you guys see that I'm not rigging the cards. I do want to say, so I watch a lot of TikTok and, you know, video, tarot videos on there and stuff, and I, I've been seeing this trend. I just want to, I'm not saying everybody does that, but, or everybody who does that is deceitful, but I don't get a good vibe when a tarot video starts and it's just this, and, and we're just, you know, like, I, I, I don't get a good vibe from that because it, it's whatever story they want to tell you. Okay, so unless somebody is shuffling on camera, mm, it's a hard pass for me. All right, Sagittarius. shuffle and get started. There we go. Oops. Okay. you are. We have Temperance here, one of the first cards coming out. Yeah, so I feel like you guys are becoming very clear about what you're feeling. Okay, and, and perhaps in the past that, that wasn't clear or or you were repressing that. Um, but it's like you're coming into awareness and acceptance of your own emotions, of your own thoughts, of your own beliefs. Like you're coming to terms with something or you're, you're accepting something that in the past you didn't have the courage to do. I, I, I feel as though this may be like the start of a whole new uh, way of being for you. In a way, I do feel that some of you may have been deceitful um, when it comes to like how you feel or what you think. I, it, it, so I just did Pisces, by the way. 
if you have Pisces highly aspected in your in your birth chart, I would definitely recommend you watching that because it has a similar feel to this reading. Because I'm feeling here, I don't want to say you've been living a lie, but you've been living in fear. Okay, and so it, it has made you keep up with appearances or whereas I feel like at this stage in your life you're maturing that. And, and you're letting go a lot of a lot of these insecurities or these lies that you felt you had to tell in order to be accepted. It's like you're you're facing, you're letting go of the fear and you're willing to face any kind of opposition that in the past you didn't want to face. Here you are again, temperance with the king of swords. So that is you. You are embodying this king of swords energy. I feel like um, living in your truth is helping you to balance your emotions. Um, yeah. So they're not, um, not feeling like completely out of control in your emotions anymore. And this may be helping you get out of a difficult moment or cope with a difficult moment. Yeah, see, in the past, you saw this as a risk, like revealing who you really were. Um, it, it, it was a risk to you for some reason. Again, very much like the Pisces reading, I, I'm telling you. You uh, were afraid that people were going to turn their backs on you if they knew who you really were. I feel like you're a lot more sensitive than, than you may let on. Or there was something about your feelings that you were definitely like holding back. You didn't want people to know that you felt this way. There could, be, there could also be like something that you were hiding that you knew if, if the truth came out, like somebody was going to um, get very angry or you would have confrontation with someone and you were trying to avoid that. But I think you realized that there was no way forward until you actually faced this. So you wanted to let go of um, whatever was kind of keeping you stagnant or stuck or in a rut. I want to say in a rut. Um, it's like you want to create something more exciting, more to your liking, more um, that suits your interests. I feel like the, the people who are closest to you, they may not even know what you like or... or like, it's like you keep your emotions very much to yourself, you know, so people don't, don't really have a clear picture of who you are. You may think they do or they think they do because, you know, maybe they've known you forever. But there's so much that you um, repress that I think it would surprise a lot of people to learn that you are this way or that you feel this way, you know, however that that is. And you may not have been aware of it in the past, but I feel like you're very much aware of it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is um, a lot of fear and, and concern over situations in your life that at some point brought you a lot of happiness or like family. Like you don't want people turning their backs on you. Mm-hmm. So this caused you to live a life of, um, in a way, boredom because you were holding back on, on what truly brings you excitement in order to kind of fit in. So that's that's what I'm seeing is like you trying your best to always fit in um, because if, if you were the black sheep, then, you know, you would be, you would turn into like this lone wolf and you don't want to be a lone wolf. You want to be a part of the pack, but you realize that this effort in being a part of the pack made you feel even lonelier. Wow. So all of this that you're feeling, 
that you're coming to terms with, um, that you're realizing, all these fears that you're realizing you had and how this impacted your life thus far, I feel like this is sparking something new, or, or at least it will, where you're going to have this, this renewed sense of excitement, of passion. Yeah, this, this is like... A, Keeping, keeping yourself hidden in order to fit in. And it's it's all about like the, the people that are closest to you that you love most. You're so, so worried about what they think and say. Like you always want to be a part of the team. You don't want to be the outsider. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe in your culture, in your society, you have to kind of follow these rules and, and not, you know, outsiders or black sheep are seen as something negative rather than like being seen as a leader, you're seen as a problem, or that's what you thought. You definitely overthink a lot. Yeah, see, look, there's that um, hangman in reverse again. So there's like this renewed sense of awareness of yourself and who you are right now and who you want to be. And again, this is going to bring you a lot of excitement. I feel like you've been held back um, previously by this image that you wanted to uphold. That was not you. See? So this excitement, the spark of excitement will come with courage. You need courage in order to face this situation. Some of you could, um, like, this is very much about, like, acceptance, self-acceptance. In the past, you may not have accepted who you truly were. Because you knew it deviated from the rest of the pack. But once you do accept who you are and, and, and you feel proud of that, you feel confident about who you are and where you're headed, you are going to attract people in your life that are very much going to be appreciative of, of the real you. And not, you know, trying to... Um, mold you into what they want you to be. Okay. So this is, um, I want to say this is like a karmic time in your life where there's events that are going to be beyond your control. Um, you may feel like singled out somehow, but the, the, all this is is really a lot of... Uh, there's a sense here of like... Uh, Having to lose something, it's not really lose, but like having to have a major ending in your life in order to really find out the truth about yourself. And understanding that you have the power to create the life that you truly want, create this happiness that you want. But in order to do that, you have to understand that what you've been doing thus far is not working for you. Okay, so this trying to fit in or trying to be a part of that path has not worked for you. Yeah, look. Wow, okay. So we have the Hierophant in reverse, followed by two pages. So this is like having brand new ideas, brand new, going in brand new directions, um, completely opposite to what you have been used to thus far. 
Okay. You've been trying to stop this process for some time. And again, I feel like there's a family component to this. But you are getting like so much truth, like you're learning so much about who you are. Maybe you've gone through a major change um, and you're getting to know yourself again. Yeah. There's things that you didn't want to know or you didn't want to face about yourself that you're being forced to. You're being forced to face this. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a big hit, okay? There's a big hit you're going to have to take here. But it's for your own good. This tower needs needs to come down, okay? As much as you tried, you put in a lot of effort, you made decisions based on, you know, what you thought was the right thing, but it didn't work for a reason. Six of Wands in reverse. It, it's because the tower had to fall. This was not... You need to build a new tower, that is um, on more solid ground. Yeah. So this is very much about allowing yourself this change. Um, and it stems from self-love. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And here's that Six of Wands again with the Page of Swords. So these new ideas, new ways of thinking will bring you towards success. Um, but the catch is that you have to go through a painful ending. You have to go through some losses, and they will be perceived losses because this is something that should not have been in your life to begin with or um, ways of being that were not true to you and therefore should not have been to begin with. And so it's just having the courage to allow for this to happen and not take it as a punishment, but as a, a sort of liberation. I'm seeing a lot of frustration um, with some choices perhaps that you are making. I'm not going to lie to you. There may be people turning their backs on you, but <clears throat> if that's the case, they probably didn't belong there anyway. There may be a lot of tears, okay? There, there, I, I see a lot of emotion here. The two of Wands with the Two of Wands. So, it's like you, you're giving up on something that you helped create. And this is making you very emotional because it's like a a turning point in your life. You're at a crossroads where you know that once you go down that path, things will never be the same. And here's that tower with the hermit. It's all about, it's all about getting to know yourself, your true self, and allowing other people to see that as well. But we have to let that tower fall. fall. And that tower might be um, this image that you have created of yourself that frankly doesn't seem to be truthful in a way, or, or accurate. I'll say accurate because it, it's just that there's a lot hidden that others don't know. Yeah, I'm seeing separation between you and others. Communication may be a bit harsh. I think you might feel a bit judged. Yeah. See, so whatever it is that you've been working on that has caused you frustration. And so in the past, it, it, it may have made others happy, but it didn't make you happy. And so there is, it seems like there is a need for you to go through some instability, some feelings of uh, lack of control. Um, you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like whatever it is that you spent time on or that you try to create in your life. It's like you get to a point where you think it's, it, oh, it's almost complete. I've been working on this forever and it's almost done. But as you're like completing it, you realize this is not 
what you want at all. <laughs> um, and so it causes for people to think that you're, you're making these ridiculous decisions or that you're being very immature, that you're not thinking about what it is that you're really doing. Like they're, they, I don't know. I feel like there's people around you who may see you as being out of control, like reckless, out of control, immature even. But it's just that you're going through a, a major change in your life and you're rebuilding your life. But you don't want to rebuild your life based on lies, you know, like in the past. And I don't want that to sound harsh because it, 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 it was really about you trying to fit in um, rather than allowing other people to just see who you are and, and, and be who you are. And letting the chips fall where they may, I don't, I don't think you went that route last time. Okay, so in this in this new cycle, that is the big change that that I see here that you're doing now that you didn't do before, because you're being more true to yourself. You you know yourself better. Maybe before you thought that all those things like where whichever direction the pack was heading. You thought that, well, if the path goes that way, then, you know, that, that must be what's going to make me happy. And you realized that it's not. So maybe you are the black sheep. And, and you're, you're growing to not just accept that, but to love that. Or at least that's the idea. So honestly, I do see you... Um, I feel like you're 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 not speaking to somebody from your family or you or this is going to be happening. I see some like distance between you and and uh, people in your family. Yeah, so I am seeing sadness and disappointment because you are going to feel judged by someone who's very close to you or people who are very close to you. And there, like I said, there is going to be this distance. Um, I feel like you're very much in fear that this is never going to change, you know, that, that it will be a permanent distance. There's a lot of fear about the future and what it may bring because now you have no idea. It's almost like you, you, everything you thought you knew is no longer. This is about <clears throat> facing fear head on. Okay, so even though you don't know, you, you know that something has ended. Okay, a, a, a cycle in your life has ended. Um, I feel like this distance between you and other people is temporary. I, I, I think that you need this space and time in order to sort through um, your emotions, your feelings of, I feel like some of you have these feelings of inadequacy. And maybe because you didn't fit into this particular group. So you, you may have spent life feeling as though you weren't good enough because you were the outsider. But what this is really about is um, having that courage and, and, and knowing, having the faith that these people who care for you are going to be there. Maybe they're a little sore about things. Maybe, you know, they don't agree with your decisions. I feel like the more you feed into the fears, the worse it's going to be. The more they sense um, confidence in you and who you are, the better they're going to feel. Because they'll know that you know what you're doing. I think the problem is <clears throat> in people perceiving you as somebody who's completely out of control. You know, this free spirit. Some people think of this as being a great thing. I, I do. I think that's a great thing to be a free, free spirit. Other people think that these people are crazy because they don't follow the norms. 
And that's really, I feel like, what a lot of you are struggling with is um, your individuality, what makes you different and appreciating what makes you different, feeling confident about it, not feeling like, you know, why am I burdened with, with being different, you know, not, not like everybody else. This is about being proud of that. But I do see you working through these emotions of, of fear of, of, of people just turning their backs. Yeah, there's a severing here, uh, something that you're giving up on. <laughs> Look at that, two of pentacles with the two of pentacles. You weren't sure about it, whatever this is. Um, I feel like so, there was an ending, but this already happened. So the ten of swords is in the reverse, which tells me that there was an ending, painful ending in the past. It's already happened. You may have gone back and forth in your mind like, is this something I want to get back to? Is this, uh, do I want this again? I, the, the, the answer is no, is what I'm seeing here. You're going to be moving forward, um, looking toward a, a different future for yourself. Yeah, so it's really confidence in yourself that's going to get you out of stagnancy. Look, I feel like some of you may um, shy away from, from getting to know other people. It's like you may want to keep things superficial for some time. Because there was somebody that you were dealing with who you thought, you see we have the king and the queen together here. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo. But you thought that this was your person and it ended up being something superficial. And so you may have been broken. Some of you are still thinking about this. You're very much in your head about it. And um, this may uh, make you feel like you're not motivated to get out there and, and explore other opportunities because, well, this didn't turn out too well. Yeah. So it's like there's something in you that's telling you to get out there and, and um, allow for new people to come into your life, but there is a fear attached to that. So it's like you stop yourself in your tracks because once you allow yourself, then you remember what happened here and, and you know the fear takes over again. See, very much in your head, eight of swords, nine of swords. I think one thing that you do need to watch out for is um, falling back into your old patterns. So in other words, let's say you meet somebody new and you want that to work out. Your old pattern would be to say what you think they want to hear or to behave how like mirroring other people so that you, you always fit in. But this is based on fear. This is what has been holding you back. Things are going to get better. Look at this. We have five of cups, nine of cups, and six of swords. So, yeah, you may be coming um, from a sad time or you may be experiencing a sad or disappointing time, but it will be followed by more, um, self, more pleasure, more happiness. Some of you could be having a new relationship here. Um, some of you may be having a child or I'm seeing a new child, so like someone, someone pregnant. Ooh. So be careful, some of you out there, because this could be as a result of like a, a one night stand or something. I'm seeing somebody get pregnant with a like with a one night stand. Somebody who was not supposed to be around 
for forever, but like for a good time only, and ended up producing a baby here. So some of you may have been feeling lonely or depressed um, and your way to combat that, and this is something to watch out for because this could be a warning, okay? I don't know if this is past, present, or future, maybe different for each of you, but I'm getting here somebody who may have been going through depression or something, indulging in um, superficial type relationships, relationships where there's really no emotion. It's just based on, uh, you know, whatever is good at the moment, <laughs> Um, to get away from the, your own emotions, okay? And again, this producing a baby in, in many cases, but this baby I'm seeing here is not, not something that was, you know, nobody was wishing for this, okay? In fact, I feel like this, whoever this pregnant lady is, she's not wanting to keep this child, to be honest, um, because of the nature of the relationship. I even feel like either you or this person are involved with others as well. Or that there's other people talking about this and, and what the decision is going to be with regards to this child. Getting somebody thinks this is not practical, like you may think that you're not in a, a good place financially, or this per or another person does. I'm getting the word is getting out there, like this is um, people are gossiping about this, and someone doesn't want to talk about it at all. It could be you. You don't want to tell people what your decision is going to be or what. You know, you, you just want to keep people in the dark about this. For others of you, this is not a child. This is just, uh, you know, like relationship-wise, you don't want... I'm getting here like you want things to be superficial. You don't want to um, have like high expectations of anyone or uh, you just don't want to be disappointed, basically, is the thing. And so your way of preventing yourself from being disappointed is keeping things at a very surface level so that you don't develop um, feelings and emotions. And for some of you, uh, you do this by being with multiple people at a time. But, you know, that could get you into trouble, okay, if you're not letting these people know exactly what's going on. So there's that. Yeah, um, so there's a choice or decision that needs to be made here, but it has to be made um, not just by you. You have to make this decision with another person or other people. And um, it's not a smooth process here. Like the people are not on the same page. They don't want the same things. Decision can be very life changing, whatever it is. And so that's why, you know, you can't control how other people feel or think or behave. 
And so that's why it's so difficult to get on the same page with someone because what you want is not what the other person wants or, you know, vice versa. Yeah, I'm getting here, um, there's like unwanted uh, responsibilities or unwanted consequences to something from the past. I feel like this was toxic behavior. I'm getting um, from this I'm getting like delusion or you know wanting to believe something so much that even though it's not true you end up believing it okay so um, it's very much a toxic trait I feel that needs to be healed I'm, I, okay, so I feel like this is more about allowing yourself to face reality, to accept reality, rather than living on a fantasy. There also may be something that happened from your past that you cannot change. So no matter how much you want to wish it away, it's not going to change. Like something is just set in stone. You know, it's not, it's not changing, it's not budging, it just is what it is. I'm seeing you here like um, wanting to take a certain action very quickly, like raring to go and, and start something. And it's it completely, um, there's either a major delay or, or, or it stops in its tracks. Like something that you really wanted to pursue or do, um, it's, it's denied. So there, there could have been, okay, so going back to the pregnant lady, because here we have the Empress again. Um, she is in the reverse. So I'm, I'm kind of picking up, like, whatever you wanted this person to do, they're not, they're not going to do it, and they don't care if, if you're okay with it. Like, somebody's going completely against you, in other words. So what I see here, like there's something that you deem as being toxic or bad in your life or something that may have happened, but it's completely out of your control. Because again, you can't control what somebody else does and it is dependent on someone else. Hmm. All right, let's finish this up. Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo. So I'm getting here that you are going to be getting uh, clarity. The situation, whatever this uh, difficult situation is that you're either going to be going through or already going through, it was meant to happen in order to shine a light on toxic traits that have been holding you back from success or from being more stable in your life. So you, you guys may have been asking yourself, like, why am I not ever able to... Um, you know, to like truly feel successful or go follow through on my plans or um, just seeing the reality of a situation before I get into it rather than when I'm already deep, knee deep in it, you know, that type of thing. It's like you may have been going through a lot of unnecessary difficulties that may have been prevented, but there was something about your own behavior that has been um, blocking that. It's been blocking your, your judgment, really.
So something from your past was not successful. It, it may have gone up in flames. And this is weighing pretty heavily on you because now you're having to start all over. This could have been a relationship. Um, but I feel like uh, there may have been, again, going back to like delusion or, or just not not seeing something for what it is. It may have been a relationship that you weren't seeing what it, what it truly is um, because of your own insecurities, I have to say. I, I feel also this has to do with uh, maybe a blockage in the throat chakra, so not being able to really express yourself, your true emotions. I feel as though um, you may have been, okay. So there was something about like your, your sense of self-worth that was not, you know, there was a blockage there as well. So you weren't seeing your self-worth. I'm getting here like there was responsibilities that you didn't want to have. Okay, so that, that's like the second time I've, I've um, picked up on that. There's something about you understanding that there's this, okay, okay, I see it. So these could be like societal norms, you know, um, I don't know, unwritten rules or just like what you thought was expected of you. So this could have been like a traditional type life, right? Maybe you felt as though you were expected to live this traditional life of, um, marriage and responsibilities and but in reality this goes against who you truly are yet you had trouble expressing that because you felt as though you were going to be judged and so you got yourself in relationships that were never going to make you happy it was just like it felt like a burden to you and now you feel like it's a burden having to start over but you know, this is about just accepting that whatever was, was not supposed to even be. <laughs> and so there's a need to like, let that go, let that part of you go and accept this as, as what it is, is like really just a chance for you to live how in your truth, to live how you really want to live. Interesting. All right. Let's see your advice. advice for Sagittarius. Conclusions are within reach. All right, so we have here, wow, the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever is happening, it's like a snowball effect. It's it's just, it's only going to get stronger. This is not going to die down. <clears throat> so if you've been trying to stop, you know, this uncomfortable situation from happening, it, it, there's no way. What do you need to release? Absolutely. You need to ask yourself that. Your dreams need a practical plan. So... It, it, it seems as though there, there's like step one, step two, step three. So just know that the conclusions that you're coming to, that this is all part of the plan of you knowing yourself and allowing others to know you as well. <clears throat> this is not going to change. It's only going to get louder and louder, <clears throat> not just to you, but to others, because there is something that you need to release. You need to release that old version of yourself who was just trying to fulfill a role that other people um, decided that you should be playing. Uh, so, you know, this is about really asking yourself, what, what are your dreams going forward? Because I feel like the dreams that you were pursuing in the past may not have been yours at all. It may have been uh, somebody else's vision. You thought it, they were yours, but no. And so what you truly want, uh, what truly makes you happy, this, this sense of freedom, it, it's possible. You just need to understand that you have to let go of one thing in order to gain the other. So you have to let go of that need to be accepted 
and um, judged in, in a very um, positive manner by certain people <clears throat> and just taking the chance and, and, and going for what you truly want, showing who you truly are and give these people the opportunity to show you what they truly think of you rather than making these judgments. Okay. So I hope that was helpful, Sagittarius. If you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at eyesofthestarstarot at gmail.com. Otherwise, I will see you here next time. Bye.